Now, let me tell you something. Being able to engage, communicate with the local people is a plus for you living in the motherland. Yes, I've met a lot of people who are a little bit snobbish. That is okay. That is their character. I've met a lot of people who are welcoming. No matter who you are, they will welcome you hug you into their arms and say hey nice to meet you and and all that i love that so i'm just saying that one of the items that you should put on your list is for you to have an open mind and be engaging with the local people i was speaking to a brother on a consultation and i told he asked me well, what is your advice for me when i'm coming to the modern and i said be cool with the local people yeah, that doesn't mean uh, you should lay so low with anybody, but just have a certain mentality. Hello, Scooby. Brother. Uh, my father died on it. I can see me. I'm the first one I'm from in two months. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So that is a brother who is helping me send, um, uh, what do you call it? A polytank from Cape Coast to a Cebu for a brother. We are helping or we are assisting build his fence. Echo, echo, echo city. All right, so let's get into it. A few days ago, I was called by Moy. What's up with you, Moy? 60 year old Moy. <laughs> and then she was like, hey, I have my family around and uh, we'll be celebrating the birthday. So I called, come around, come around. I'm like, okay. So I went with my crew. And I met the beautiful family. Mr. T, shout outs to you. Maria, you celebrated your birthday in Ghana. And then your daughter, Cindy. Cindy, we're going to be making videos soon, you know, to project whatever you're doing here in Ghana. So I went to Moy's place and bet you, Moy is getting, getting to, to finish, to complete her apartment for Airbnb. I think that is where the family is even residing, one of the rooms. Uh, Moy is doing great. Okay, so this video basically is showing you uh, the, the, is it the first floor. The American have a way of saying the first floor and then the British... Uh, whatever, but the one after the, the the ground level. So if you know, just put it up as a comment. So the one after the, the ground level. So she's putting it up. Um, I can see the doors are fixed. Um, lights in there already. Uh, and then she said by the end of next week, the furniture will be in. I can't wait to spend a weekend. So more. This one, I'm coming to spend a weekend in one of your apartments and show people what exactly you have in there. So I come on Friday, sleepover, Saturday, sleepover, and leave on Sunday. And my meal is on you, yeah? <laughs> and we're going to have fun. You know, it's going to be fun. Because Cindy is around, the mom is around, the dad is around. We're going to be sharing appetite and palm wine and chilling and all that. So I went in there, I took a few uh, shots of... Uh, yet to be completed apartment for Moy, and then in the evening there was a party. So happy birthday, Maria! It was your birthday. We celebrated it. There were a lot of food. Yes, I like food, and there were a lot of alcohol, a lot of soft drinks, and then the people. That is what I I started by saying that if you really want to have a feel of the motherland, kindly have an open mind and mingle with the local people, and you will love it. Yes, these people, apart from the language barrier, they always want to get closer to, you know, Ghana, that is a Ghanaian feeling. They always want to get closer to something that is new with different culture because they always want to learn. One thing about Ghanaians is they always want to learn something and then add it to whatever they had. So uh, there were a lot of people, there were, you know, workers around Asebu and Mr. Lane was there. And uh, shout out to Mr. Lynn. We had a good time, but he had to retire early because he was tired. Yes. And uh, shout outs to you, Baron, Mr. Williamson. You were there. You and your wife, Karen, was there. Uh, had some few friends coming in. It was so nice. You know, we're dancing, chilling, and all that. So basically, this video is just to show you that. Hello. Yeah. I call Simpson. Connecting Africa. No, no, no. I'll go, I'll go meet you later. You know, yeah. Right. yeah, I have some guys that I work with, and today they are sending some stuff to us, able to help work. So they can call me like that. Sorry about that. Right. So it was pretty fun. I loved it. You know, we all had fun. We enjoyed ourselves. So this video is basically to tell you that 
there are a lot more happening in Asebo. Um, one lady told me that, Echo, a lady that I met yesterday and then the husband, I call them uncle and auntie. So auntie Marcel and then uh, Jatadin. <laughs> they were here with me yesterday. They came to me from the USA, by the way, in Accra. So I met them yesterday. We went through Asebu. I showed them their plot and I gave them their indentures and they signed and they were very happy. Like, Echo, is this real? Is this real? Yeah, this is real. We were like meeting Echo for the first time, blah, blah, blah. I mean, it's so nice. So, hey, basically, I want to tell you that a lot of things are happening in Asebu. If you still want to move, move. Uh, but take it easy. Please take it easy. But please take it easy, do your researches, you know, talk to people that you want to talk to and get more info on a sequel. So hey, shout out to everybody who is watching this video and I will take it from there. So that is Matthew, the land engineer calling me busy. Yeah, Matthew. <laughs> Connecting Africans in the diaspora to the Madeleine. Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the Madeleine.